towards the far side Christian Pedersen sliding to keep it in and somehow did it was a difficult bouncing ball but his long left leg there was able to make it count and now Blues making in rows inside left channel Magoma edge of the box he goes it just bobbled in front of him which many completely scarred the shot in the end McEachran trying to just get involved in the battle in midfield Manages to get his foot in there as well and allow Magoma to wriggle free, but again, he's congested in the middle. And Josh McEachran looks in serious pain. Very worrying. You can see with the way he made that tackle there, Deal, he's almost trying to wrap his leg around the opponents. It looked pretty awkward. Did the job in terms of getting the ball back, but the aftermath doesn't seem to uh, look good at all. And it's... Not an impact injury, it's, it's the way he sort of landed on the ground, isn't it? Yeah. Just that. seen a replay. I mean. Making the long trudge off the field on a stretcher. And Josh McEachran will exit down the tunnel away to our right. And receiving a warm applause from not just the cop on the far side with full compliment of Blues fans there, but also the Coventry fans as well. Flag on the near side, the Blues right. Coventry with everyone inside their own penalty errors. It spiralled in towards the back post. Montero over and kick across the face and hooked up from under the crossbar by the Coventry defender. Coventry still not fully away. Jeju with an imprint on the ball there. Shunyic trying to push Coventry back down the near side. But what a moment that was. As Robert's throw caused carnage in the box. It was glanced on by McFadzian. And then the left corner of the six-yard box. Montero just helped it back in there. And unfortunately, it was a Sky Blues player there, not a, not a Blues one. Yeah, that, <clears throat> I think Montero's first touch was a, of a different level. Magoma floats in the resulting free kick. Oh. That surely handballed by Jeju. Oh. The referee says no. The only way he hasn't given that is, was his arm was by his side, but it was clearly hit his arm there. The Amu, sorry, who uh, handled it. Certainly, he was expecting the man in front of him to head away, but... Came to him, away though, but thankfully Coventry were unable to punish us. Scruffy at times, oh. but now a bit of quality as Montero's in behind on the left, scurrying into the box, cuts back onto his favoured boot. Then on the outside, Montero, oh. saved by the goalkeeper Morosi. His first bit of work this evening as Montero brought a bit of magic and almost brought St Andrews to life. This is more like it. I think Blues have recognised that. Um, the space is, is in behind and you've got good paces, Montero, Bellingham there um, like just put those little balls just set Montero free. The defender in there to dispossess him. Now Coventry trying to play that switch again. Dabo, has got a run in front of him, Westbrook pokes it through, back a Yoko chance, Camp saves it but it'll spin in and Coventry have finally broken the deadlock between these two and it's come after 50 minutes of the replay. Bayer. Now Montero on the left-hand side. Bayer running down the line for him. It will eventually work its way for Bayer, who whips it across the face, beaten away by the goalkeeper. Coventry just about clearing away, but they're struggling to find an outlet. Down momentarily, but they work it to the right corner of the box, deep towards the back post. Harding gets a header away. Shunich back to his feet now, but doesn't look all too comfortable. And uh, Blues will hopefully get out here with Magoma down the right. Into the feet of Shunyic now. Bayer with a great run. Brilliantly found. Jeremy Bayer saved by the goalkeeper. By far Blues' best chance of the game. And Marco Morosi spread himself big and managed to thwart Bayer right at the last. And Sunjic, who's jumped off the ground after being injured for a minute. But produced a fantastic ball right through the heart of the Coventry defence. Bayer's first touch was, was excellent. Just couldn't beat the, the advancing Coventry goalkeeper. Will it be a disappointing exit from the cup? By just a single goal. Roberts into the goal. Mav testing! And headed by Montero straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, minutes left now. Four minutes to be precise of additional time. Montero on the left. Ball into the box, oh. Shunyic chops it on, then Jukovic, and it's over the bar. 
One minute played of the four added on. Harding still keeps possession despite clumsily trying to check inside and just uh, knocks it down the channel for Magoma, gets to the byline, puts it into the middle. Dean! <laughs> Harley Dean scores the equaliser! The skipper produces the goods in stoppage time and we might just have 30 minutes more of this. Blues won't Coventry won. I mean, uh, Blues have been threatening them that, that all game. Um, they've been getting down the flanks. The Coventry haven't been able to stop them to, from producing those crosses, but Blues haven't managed to get any clear purchase or any clear shot. Turnaround in stoppage time. Montero towards the back post. Jukovic rises off the bar and Roberts hooks it up and away. And we are having 30 more minutes of what's turning now into a bit of an epic between Blues and Coventry. A late equaliser from Harley Dean. Lukas Jukovic hits the bar right at the end. And cheat taking penalties. Pedersen tries to nutmeg Dabo. O'Hare now coming forward and getting a 1 2 from Godden. O'Hare's in the box, squares it, big chance. And this time, Biamu has scored. Can conjure up a level at. Is it going to penalties? Bayer on the right, final minute of the 120. Bayer. Oh! He has scored! Jeremy Bayer! <laughs> Late on against Blackburn, he put Blues through to the fourth round. And now in the fourth round, he's taken us to penalties in quite remarkable, baffling, but still spectacular fashion. It's 2-2. We said there would be one more chance, but I don't think anyone expected it would come from there. Bayer picking up the ball on the right side. He's, he must have thrown in about five or six, um, like, Scissors, and then he's tried to cross it. Definitely a cross, isn't it? It's gone yes. deep, and the goal, as soon as the goalkeeper sort of dropped to his knees, you thought, hang on a minute. Next kicks as Zukovic takes the first one and drills it into the back of the net. And that's got up against Lee Camp in front of the Tilton. It's a right-footed penalty, and he sends Camp the wrong way. Marco Morosi again. Bayer, right-footed. Oh, it just creeps through the goalkeeper's fingertips and goes into the bottom left corner. He was a substitute in extra time. Right-footed, saved by the feet of Camp. Oh, and the Tilton's rocking now. Pretty composed stepping up there. Right-footed. Oh, again underneath the goalkeeper who dove the right way. But the conviction and the power and the accuracy from Gary Gardner means Blues are 3-1 up. But now it's a direct kick from 12 yards to keep Coventry in it. And Camp saved it again. And Blues are ever so close. The spot. And this is to send Blues through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And Harley Dean has done it. And a crazy game of FA Cup football. Oh, Over 210 minutes of action. And finally... Blues win a shootout.